Hey everyone, Chris Madsen here. In this video, I wanna show you how to create sphere-like features on parts. So like this thing. All right, and what we're after is sort of this dome shape and how to have it be nice and smooth across the top. All right, so like all things here, I have started with a sketch of a part that I'm gonna make and I'll just jump right into the CAD system now and do that. Whenever I'm creating a part like this, I know I'm gonna revolve it, okay, because it's axisymmetric. It's symmetrical around an axis. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is get myself an axis that I will be able to revolve around, and I've just popped that in. That's great. Now on the front plane, I'm gonna draw out uh, the shape that I want. So I'm gonna go from the origin, this direction, you know, something like that. Okay, then I'm gonna make another line from the origin up like this. And then in essence, what's happening is I have a, a thing like this. Okay, now um, let's, let me not do a great job on this and I will uh, have a part that is not fully defined just so we can sort of see what happens with this, okay? If I took this shape and I saved it, saves is not the right word, like to select, chose to keep that sketch. Now I have a minus sign over here because it's not good yet, but I just wanna show what's gonna happen with this. Okay, we go into our features and we're gonna do a revolved boss base. We're gonna choose this axis and here's our part that we're gonna create. All right, let's turn these things off for a minute. Okay, now I wanted to have this dome and I wanted it to be nice and smooth across the top. My part is not smooth across the top. I have a point up at the top. See that, right? Okay, there's my point up at the top. And with these reflections, let me actually do this for a second. Okay, this will make it even more obvious. Okay, got this funny point right in there at the top. Okay, how are we gonna solve that? Well, first of all, we're gonna make sure that all of our work is done with sketches that are fully defined. So we're gonna come in here and work on this sketch for a minute. All right, so let's get some dimensions in here. Okay, and uh, for simplicity, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep uh, roughly the same sizes that are in here, but I'm gonna get them out, uh, all out and defined, okay. This is not consistent with my sketch, but it is um, it is gonna just make this slightly faster. Okay, 33. Okay, and then we need a radius on this thing. 44. Okay, all the lines have turned black. I'm fully defined now, and that's great. I still have a pointy thing that's gonna be at the top, which I can see by looking at this. And right now, I'm just gonna show you how you solve that anytime you want a spherical thing at the top. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna create a line from here out to here. We'll make the line like this, okay? Then we're gonna say that this line needs to be horizontal, like that. We're gonna turn this line into a construction line so that it's not part of the geometry. And then I'm gonna take this line and that construction line and say I want that relationship to be tangent. And of course, when I did that, I do have an over-constrained situation because I have this radius defined and I have this distance defined right here that is gonna cause a little bit of trouble and I have this height over here. This height's probably a very important one for me. So I'm gonna keep that one there. Um, and this distance is also pretty important for me, likely, if this is a button and I'm trying to fit in a hole. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and delete this one. Okay, and now you can see we are not over constrained anymore and we are fully defined. And there's something I don't like about what's going on right here, but let's not worry about that for now. Uh, let's just go look at what our part actually looks like. Okay, now our button is perfectly smooth and great. And that is how you do that. And if you want an extra tip on knowing how smooth it is, you can go to the evaluate button in SolidWorks and you can click the zebra stripes and the zebra stripes show that we are nice 
and clean up there. Let's see what the zebra stripes would have looked like if we did not have that tangent relationship up there. So let's go in here and delete this tangent relationship. Delete. And let's go ahead and pull this back down a little bit like this. Come in here. What do our zebra stripes show? Weirdness. Weirdness. Okay, can I control Z out of this? Maybe. Yes. Now we're back to beautiful, beautiful part. Okay, that's how you make sphere-like features on parts. Okay, that construction line made it horizontal, and then we made the, the curve tangent to that. Okay, that's it. Good luck.